Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, you main man, your homie G, Dr. Pepper, also known as The Doc. Um, we're back, playing Life is Strange. We're on episode two now, as if, uh, if you guys remember from where we left off. It still says that, oh, it finally, okay. It, it still said before that I still need to download episodes two, three, four, and five. So I didn't really know what was going on with that. But, um, so I'm just going to hit continue and hope that it took us from there. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully it takes us right in episode two. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the time. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Bitch. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Dude, Chloe? nobody wins in a headbutt. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is it grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. And that is where we left off. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I had something I was going to say, but I didn't want to ruin the previously on thing, so I forgot. So I didn't say it, and now I forgot. Square Enix. They always make good games, you know? What does DOE stand for? I remember what I was gonna, am I supposed to be doing oh get up okay hello so I remember what I was gonna say um like the last the previous two episodes um there's gonna be a lot of copyrighted music in this game no and one I, rewind will keep me clean I still need a shower so I'm still gonna like you know I'm not gonna I'm not willing to let's use the laptop Warren is blowing up my inbox now as long as he helps me figure this out. I've been thinking long and hard about your weird request. It's, it's just sent a bunch of psychic and science links, and without further ado, there's a few time travel films you must see. This oh is my so goodness. insane, it sounds logical to me. Time travel is not a science fiction. History has recorded numerous cases of individuals who have managed to bend all rules in space time continuum. President, alright, I'm not reading all that. This makes total sense, but doesn't explain how I can do what no scientist ever has. I would say this is some crazy shit, but now I'm not so certain. Should I sign? Thanks, Victoria. I always wanted to be a Max meme when I grew up. She'll spread that shit everywhere. What and a I thought bitch. I was into Halloween. Dana is not messing around here. Alright, that's everything. And I also said we had two... How do we get to our text messages? Here we go. Mom. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plant. We gave you 
but don't drown it either. Mommy. Cute. Alright, what's, what's Chloe need? You are evil. 40 minutes or else. Cool. Let me handle that. With all this crazy shit going on, it is so... Drink Better up. water the plant. It's got electrolytes. Did that for you, Mom. Thanks for the reminder. Alright. So anyways... I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. So like I was saying, um... This game is gonna be clear full. Like, clear full of... Why? No! I'm trying to take... I wonder if I'll ever wear a watch again. There we go, take the shower spot. Okay, so like guys, I was saying, let's hit the shower now. This game is clear full of copyrighted music, but I'm not about to... Not forget, I need those man, every time. Tonight. Like, now. What yes, a bitch. Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it. Consider it done. Where am I headed, to be honest with you? But yeah, so... Back up. Be one time. Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max, if that makes you happy. So on it, consider it done. Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. I got you. Anyways, um... I wonder... So, like, like I was saying, um, don't expect any... Where am I? I thought I was supposed to go to the bathroom. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna turn off the. Eight was like this, macking on those bros. Ew. We shouldn't be watching this. I'm not Everybody's going. Seen it by now. Leave the girls' dormitory. I thought I had to go. Oh no no no! Didn't didn't mean to do that. How do I walk fast? Nope, that's not how you do it either. Stop 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 stop! I can't stop it, you guys. Okay, what the f- Ow! Alright, now I have to warn her again. I just want to get into the damn bathroom. Showers. Oh, dude, that is- that is a- that is a joke. Anyways, like I was saying, um... There's a lot of copyrighted music in this game, but I'm not about to tone it off or anything like that because it's worth it. Good music Help, brings the, really brings the game hey, to Kate. you know, really helps it go, get going. What are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. I got you. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? <laughs> not me. Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. Why do you need your copy of Bradbury so badly? What's he got that I don't have, huh? Take a shower. Probably got clothes on. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Yeah, well, oh, that's kind of that's kinda I'm douchey. sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yuck! I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Max Selfie thought she was a badass taking that picture. Cause I, I beat was. Her down. That was so uncool. 
She's jealous because Mark, Mr. Jefferson, knows I'm going to win the Everyday Heroes contest. He thinks does, Max is does a he joke. Though? Does he though? Because that's not what I gathered from it. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. <laughs> yeah. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. No, that's effed up, dude. I'm not cool with that in the slightest. <laughs> I hope we get the choice to take it down. That's so messed up. Man, everything about everything about Victoria, she's just a total Nice words. Nice words. She's just an interesting person is what she is. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. I already have clothes on. Message. Oh, you race. Okay, cool. We Even can erase if I it. can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Perfect, you guys. Alright. Continuing on with this epic saga. Let's go get dressed. I guess this is kind of more than a saga, isn't it? Since it's more than three episodes. Which room was mine again? I'm assuming it's this one. Max. Yep. Enter. Oh, Dude, somebody no just trashed my room? This Nobody messes with me, bitch. Yet. Crappy, are those filthy whores? Crap up? What a bitch. After I find Kate's book. Dude, seriously, that is such a bitch move. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Okay, so this was Nathan. I thought for sure this was... <laughs> What's your name? Ta-da! I do love a clean room. Very zen. Except for that bullshit graffiti. And nothing here. Haha, I found it. Of course back you just spilled soda on back Kate's book. Back it up, book. back it up, back it up, back it up. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Move. Be gone, foul soft drink. And now, let's take the book. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Dude, we are like gods, being able to turn back time like this. Man, nobody stands it. I can actually play the guitar? Nah, we better do that later. Can I get dressed now? Get dressed, there we go. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Good call. Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Alright, let's bounce. Go get Kate's book and give it back to her. Well, we have Kate's book. Let's just go give it back to her. Be the change. Now I can you finally take be. this back to Kate before I'm late. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything, or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Must have been oh, Nathan. Shit. Now I'm getting an oh, stop, 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 stop. Ends. Dude, I hate this. This has to be from Nathan. I didn't mean to do but that. It could be anybody. I better be doubly careful around here, or I could be in serious danger. Okay, R2 is how I go faster. Already. I keep forgetting that R2 is how you go faster. Okay, where's Kate's room, you guys? Oh, here it is. Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Max. Can't leave now. I screwed up. She doesn't want to look at herself, apparently. Kate really has a doting father. That's a lot of tears. She's going to go through Bob. I had no idea that Kate ever hung out with Alyssa and Stella. Take a photo. Faux show. Sure. Look at the cute little buddy. Ah, uh, you looked away, you douche. Do 
we do we want to look at this? Ouch. She left out amnation. I can't even read that. Oh, yeah. No spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And like a Jezebel, you released your harlot image before God's eye. I will pray with my church for you, soul, to be saved from eternal hellfire, Auntie Marsh. That's kind of ouch, you know? Good lord. This must be Kate's H.R. Geiger period. I don't know who H.R. Geiger is, but man, has he got a problem. There's a lot going on here. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because he was a douche. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Why Kate, don't I? Why wouldn't I? I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Um, let's take it cautiously. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That doesn't sound it like doesn't you. doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not That's enough not enough. To get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted, ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video. Okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember. I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott's Nathan a douche. Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably, Probably Victoria. Victoria. She was yeah, there being a mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Yeah, I mean, there's not much I can do for you. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. <sighs> Man, that's a tough life. I'm sorry. Put it by your bag. Put the book in the bag. There you go. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. I'm on your side with that one. Should I go to the police? Ooh, this is tough. Look for proof first. If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys, and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. 
Bitch, I am trying to help you. Good now, job, you know Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened. I want to see what happens if we go to the police. I really am curious about what happens if we go to the police, so... Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing, except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. So... I'm super confused here. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go with it, please. That's what I'm sticking with. We're going to the police. No take back. Oh, let's see. Waste that too. That's kind of that's kind of douchey. There we go. We like the, we like the coolest people in the world. All right, Chloe, send us a message again. Don't hold your fingers texting. Okay, what is this? Max, food, two wills, see you there, don't hurt your fingers texting, you ate breakfast, no emoji. Alright, we gotta figure out how to get to breakfast now. Let's talk to Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. You're so creepy. I can feel the animals waking up with me. What do you think of the snow? What did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the earth to get our shit together. I feel you. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Me either, Samuel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Alright, where do we need to go? We're gonna go this way. Oh, it's our boyfriend. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that, that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with my lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Well, damn. They're going hard on me. It's over here. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. <laughs> I'm some personal superhero. Yeah, you are. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Uh... Just a pirate. Just a pirate I used to know. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Hell Which yeah. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Can we tell him the truth? I we're busted gonna... him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, 
That drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Oh, it's Planet of the Apes. Apes. I want to see the new Planet of the Apes so freaking bad, you guys. Don't tell me how it ends if you've seen it. Don't Just tell me if it's good or not. That's all I care about. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Thanks, Boo. All right. Now we are at like main campus. And, David oh. talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. No, it cannot. This has something to do with Kate. For sure it does. Or Rachel. For sure it does. So am I supposed to like? I'm riding the school bus. I'm riding the school bus to town. How does that make sense in the slightest? A school? A school bus? All right, pop in your earbuds. Yep, that's what I would do too, Max. 100%. Let's listen to some good tunes. And let's head to... Where was it? The... Greybeard's Whale? Something like that? For food? We're doing something like that. Can I... I can't change the... We're stuck looking at this. Okay. That's okay. I remember the days of riding school buses. Those were the worst. They were like, when you were a little kid riding the school bus, man, it was like hours out of your day to go play. You know what I'm saying? That bus did not even stop at that. He just turned. That's dangerous. But yeah, like I remember, I remember even like the longest school bus ride I ever had was like, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. But then you know you had to wait the 15 minutes for the buses to leave from school and. I mean, it was just, it, it, it ruined your whole afternoon, you guys, because you can play, you, you, you lost a whole extra hour, hour plus to hang out with your buddies, you know? It was the worst. And then you had to have special permission slips to get off at a stop that wasn't yours. What kind of bogus is that? I mean, I guess I understand it in today's world, but still. It really, four dollars for gas? What? It really inhibited me and my buddies from hanging out, you know? Because we had to go to our houses and ask our parents, and if our parents went home, we had to wait for the parents to come home. It was the worst. I wouldn't dream of it. Two whales, Diana. Not whales, beard. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. I don't want to go that way. Oh, okay. Hello, how do you... How do you do? Four dollars and seven cents for gas. That's a little ridiculous. Am I supposed to like look at There's this? There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that! Oh shit! Shit! Stop. Shit! No barking. Okay. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Yeah, there is. Am I allowed to do like anything around here? All right, let's just. Oh, here we go. Let's talk to this guy. He looks suspicious. Mm. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Neptune's beard. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was okay, King Aquaman. Of the you have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept a hold of her in these lean days. It might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Those douchebags. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? 
Too good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Thanks for- oh wait wait, I had a text message. Who's texting me now? Chloe is. Uh, running late, grab a booth at the dino, mom will feed you. Somebody better, I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Oh, dude. She... Max has got sass, yo. Let's go inside. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Come on, talk to these people. Why not? Hello there to you. Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh, she got the Canadian. Be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Uh, uh, they threw the Canadians in. That's fantastic. Can I take a leaflet? Nah, not worth it. Let's see what the fisherman needs. Any big ones today? That's what she By said. Big? You mean none? Then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Wow, dude, let me be more of my eggs. Yeah, for real. Let's go squeak yourself. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Yeah, that's your fault. Talk Hello, to the cop. Sir. He's Hi, nice. lady. You look a little lost. Yeah, I am. I'm just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? Mm, grilled mac and cheese for sure, dude. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He, has he kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling in Blackwell. Well, I wouldn't say his calling. We're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. What about Chloe? So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Who told you that? Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. <laughs> I'd just tell that loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Yes, she I is. Then you know she's a handful. She can be. She can be, but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. All right, cool. Now. Thank you. I was Enjoy about to say I'm done with this. I'm done with this talk. By the way, one thing I'll <sighs> tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Yeah, okay, thank you. We're not talking to anybody else, I'm not in the mood. Let's just sit down. Can I not sit in it? Oh, here we go. Hey, mama, feed me. Woman, how are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I'm sure he is since you married him, but... 
Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I'll be the best influence, I know Mother things Chucky. were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Oh, Joyce, I'm sure. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Uh, Chloe's changed. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why. Honey. Well, because he's a douche. Why? I wouldn't rebel too. What did Chloe tell you? Um. <sighs> David Hiddo. Well, That's Chloe what we're gonna go with. me that David slapped her yesterday. He feels awful. And he will be punished. But Chloe <laughs> does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, does along he, with though? all the students at Blackwell. Does he? Because I get this feeling that he doesn't. We're going to go with... That's no excuse, no to, hit excuse to hit a girl. He's an adult. I don't like it either, Max. David swore it would never happen again. He's true to his word. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess, I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Oh, that is a tough one. Belgian waffles, for sure. The I last hate good omelets. The Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. Yeah, it's definitely the one I want. I hate well, I hate. <laughs> Omelets. Can't do it. Alright, um... Waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. I don't trust this guy. Something's going down. I have to just look at this. Graffiti. Warren must have been here. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. How? I keep going back in time. Where is Chloe at, man? No beer? What, what kind of dive is that? Just to keep drinking this crap? <laughs> You'll love this. Oh, there we go. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. Mm, speak of the devil. It's about damn time. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. Put Can you blame whole her? damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Unless you set your room on fire smoking out. Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? <laughs> Call him Sergeant David Pepper. if you don't want to be lectured. <laughs> you only get one damn slice of bacon a day. That was a Beatles reference for everybody that doesn't know. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town. What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way. I kind of don't like what Let's you have going on. Superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is okay. all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. 
Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You no, I can't. Vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Um, you had keys. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Damn it. Describe my keychain. <laughs> no. Um, skull keychain. A uh, skull keychain for a punk like you. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was BS, man. How was I supposed to know? I have to memorize this shit. That was beyond epic fail. I didn't even get to see. Cigarettes, uh, parking thing, some keys, and oh, look at it. Okay, here we go. Okay, Max, study every item carefully. A and panda don't anything. key. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. Let's see. We've got seventy-five, eighty, two, four, six, eighty-six cents, and then. A parking ticket at 10.34 a.m. at Twin Peaks. Okay, I got this. Back in time, baby. We're gonna impress the hell out of her right here. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Cigarettes, baby. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Oh, no. Uh, seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. I should have written this stuff down. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, keys. Oh, money. Some I said money. keys and hit Clearly money. I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? Hmm, mm, eighty-six cents. Eighty-six cents. Man, That's it's a good right. thing I wrote these down. I, sh I didn't write these down. I don't need to write so them down. That was cool. Show me more. All right, last but not least. Oh no, there's two more keys. Your car keys. Duh. Way too easy. Uh, panda keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You Last do but not have least. that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Last but not least, a parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know uh, me well. Twin Peaks. But what is the exact time I was busted? Oh no. Uh, ten. It was definitely ten thirty-four. Ten thirty-four a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time. Ish, I am perfect. Amaze balls. Amaze balls. Wow. Chills all over my neck. I haven't heard that in ever. You have powers. I told you. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? It's Better freaking delicious. Very good save. Man, I didn't I'm even eat any of it, but Clearly. hungry like the wolf and other music, music, musical band I'm quote. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler, so I will believe you without any doubt. <laughs> I will okay. predict the future. No way. Not really. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so okay. you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okay. She waves. He spills something. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my party? Please call it. A dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your then fight outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. How much more do I have to watch? Sure, the hell better than that other garbage. There's no song playing. Jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Okay. I'm okay, going to shit. predict four events that will happen in the next thirty seconds or so. Four events. All right. Um. Joyce does not drop anything. The trucker drops his mug. No, was it trucker? Or Trevor? Shit. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Um. Uh. 
I'll, I'll copy the you on his point of view. emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight, and Joyce stops them. Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy. As Chuck a Uh shit. I don't know what the last one is, you guys. Butterfly lands on it. Jukebox goes crazy as a butterfly lands on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Dude, I hope to God I don't have, I don't have to do that over. I didn't see anything on the jukebox, so that kind of sucks. Oops. Dude, Did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a oh, dick. You're so cool. Me, bitch. Take your fight don't slap me, bitch. He started it. I gotta watch the jukebox. I'm finishing it. That is wild. Oh, it's a cockroach, son of a bitch. Alright, we gotta go all the way back in time for this crap. It was a freaking cockroach. I'm going to predict. Alright, uh. Chuckle drops his mug. Chuckle drops. So, what happens now? Uh. Cop on the radio the probably cop. leaves. Well, let's. Uh. Joyce stops them Just from fighting. This is getting. And then as a cockroach crawls on it. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarre. All right, here we go, baby. Oh, it's a totally different camera angle this time, so clearly this Did is right. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. He's off to go bust some skaters. You Hell yeah, yes. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's gonna happen! <laughs> Grow up. I, I like the Chloe things on this one. Would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. You can make a move on me. Play. Chloe wants. Chloe's wanting Max to make a move on her. Well, <laughs> check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Yeah, yeah. I'll do this. Alright. We're piecing from this joint. How do I get out? Oh, I have to talk to her again? Yeah. Okay, Supergirl. Let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and. To do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Don't answer. Later, mom. Bye, Joyce. Freedom. I feel bad about Kate. She'll survive you not taking that one call. Now follow me, young Squire Max, so we can seriously tap your power and rule the world. I hope Kate doesn't get upset that I didn't answer. Yeah, me too, but Chloe's a better friend. You know, it's like, it's like when you catch up with those... Is that the dude from the RV? It's like when you catch up with old friends, you know? You kind of just make time for them instead of hanging out with your other instead of you know if, if a new friend calls you're not going to answer the phone you're going to hang out with your old friends you haven't seen them in forever i respect that decision that's what i would have done in my life you know if i had friends <laughs> too close to home nah i'm just messing wait up speedy dude this is going to be so cool slow down 
Wait for me to get your present. You can just back time up. We'll have to test you now to make sure. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. I respect that decision. You gotta live it up while you got the chance, you know? David might be a douche, but what? he did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. Like Step Dildo. <laughs> Until now. Step I'm Dildo. I'm not in the revolution uh... yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. What Great. kind of test Yuck. are you thinking? You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Yuck. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Fine, because you look so cute asking. Dude, this is hard. There's like nothing anywhere. Oh, there's something, there's something. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. That doesn't help out in the slightest, Max. We're looking for bottles right now. Goodness gracious. Here's a go-go track. I am just... Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, clearly I don't want to go that way. That's like our boundaries. I didn't see a single glass bottle. I have to find five of them. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Bridge for what? So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Gun shells. I am just at a mother trucking loss, Those you guys. Shells look fresh. Okay. Clearly, I have to come up here and look at this football. The Bigfoots were here. Where'd that board go? Plank. Move. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Apparently Max has got muscles, man. Let's... Oh, yo, we found a bottle. One bottle down. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Four more to go? Good lord. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. Keep up for wheels, though. That's one. Oh, there's one up there. Crap, I gotta look high and low, apparently. Bottle. Son of a bitch. So there's gotta be something I can do. Crate. Oh, here we go. Dude, this is way more difficult than it should be to get five bottles. Boom. 
Only three bottles left. Only three bottles left. You gotta be kidding me, Max. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. Pacific and Steve's famous crab. Warren sent me a message. Hit me up any. I'm trying to read, dude. Uh, if you actually help me. Like, like time, my texts are infinite. Plus. I didn't. When did I send all these? I make house calls for you. What up, pup? Puts on serious science face. What do you know about relativity, wormholes, time travel? Okay, I'll explain in detail if you actually help me. Plus, you know I like sci-fi, just think hard about it, okay? Hit me up anytime. If you have questions, I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. We are going... We are so going ape. Newburgh is 60 miles, so we should leave around 5. I drive. Hell yeah. We will guide... We, we will in your new guide. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. It, or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. Too late for what? So, I'm Now confused. the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. Every car has its own tale and history. There's gotta be a glass bottle in that car. Like, I'm getting pissed off, man. This looks like a graffiti museum. Totally of found it. Rachel. Take that. I bet please. I can find out more about Rachel here. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bot. I want creeping. to die. Oh no. Jeez. Who wrote this? Clearly, it was Chloe after Rachel disappeared. So Rachel did go to a vortex club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Fuck Ouch. you. What's that say? Yes, you. Oh, yes, you. Okay. Mixtape. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Aww, she wants a mixtape from Chloe. That's cute. Let's look at whatever that is. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Makeup case? I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. So it's definitely Rachel. Let's look at his bracelet real quick. That kinda hurts. Ouch, yeah it does. Best friend bracelets. Is that all? Is that all the things in here? Okay, that's it. So we've got three bottles. I somehow have to find two more. You know, I feel like I'm sure this is a popular party pit. A bottle, yes. Oh yes, we can use this one for a target. I feel like it was way more difficult to find these damn bottle? bottles than it should be. Oh shit! Why are we going so far back? No! So why did that fall this last time, but not I didn't do anything different? Dude, this bottle was just sitting here the whole time? No way. Voila. Now I can deliver this box. Oh, somebody sent me a message too. Okay, great. Okay. Max, thank you for giving me such great advice about going to the police uh, and telling them everything about Nathan. I so appreciate you standing by me. Keep, keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble around here. And sorry for bothering you this morning. Guess you were too busy to answer. I was about to have a serious breakdown and needed somebody. Class bell. Have to go. Say booty to Captain Chloe. Yeah, I was busy hanging out with my friend. Sorry. I bailed on school today. 
Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're okay. serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. How? Show me the way, Max. Okay. Where should we shoot first? So, gotta go to the guy. Apparently, I can't go back in time. Oh, maybe I can. Show me the way, Max. Uh, right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. I lied, you're not on target. Now, Max, where do I uh, aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. What? She's kind of scaring me a little bit. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh, shoot that Let's rim. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? Dude, this <laughs> like is dangerous. Something's... So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? I No, we're gonna... Dude, this is gonna ricochet and hurt one of us. I'm calling it. Dude, I need a target before I shoot. Um... Windshield. Well, Max, I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. You guys better run for cover. Yet the bottle remains. Okay, so that wasn't that wasn't the trick shot. Shit. All right, let's try Dude, the tire. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. What? Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I have a headache, bitch, because you make I me do all this, know. all this back in time stuff. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max. Oh shit. Max died. Aw, Chloe. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know uh. when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. I know we're supposed to chat up Chloe, but this is actually where we're going to end it. Um, I'm pretty sure, I want to say, I feel like we're at least halfway done. Maybe a little more. I don't really know how long these episodes go for. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we're close. Yeah, so thank you guys all so much for tuning in on this episode. I enjoy it so much. This is this is a game where it's just like, you never know if you're making the right decision or not. Kind of like real life, you know what I'm saying? But in this game, you can go back in time and fix it. Whereas in real life, you cannot. I mean, if you can... You gotta let me in on that, man. I want some of that action. But yeah. Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, post to Facebook. 
dislike, do what you gotta do, I understand. Send emails to you, you know, send it in a chain chain mail email, I don't care. But yeah. As always, this is your man in the can, Dr. Pepper, signing out. Peace guys.